The In Wheel Time Car Show, your weekly go-to all things automotive place. Today coming to you from the Topwater Grill in San Leon, Texas. Yes. And Woody's third annual waterfront car show. Howdy along with Mike out of this world Mars. King Conrad DeLong, we need more Jeff Zekin. We do. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad you could join us today. Uh, we hope that we're getting out and being able to be heard and seen around yep, the globe are. like we used to be able to. Are we today? Yes, we are. Here, right. Thumbs yep. up from our yes, sir. chief engineer, yes, sir. Mr. David mm. Ainsley. Because you know you can't <laughs> trust what Mars tells you. Uh -oh. Absolutely not. <laughs> not today, not yesterday, and never in the future. Come on he, now. And we say that because he's not actually right here at no, the desk he, at the moment. He's, he's out, out wandering looking for guests. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, you know, it uh, has been uh, an interesting week uh, as far as uh, the news with cars is concerned, uh, with the continuing and ongoing shortage of microchips, and they can't get the cars. They, they build them. But they don't leave. And then they park them. Yeah, and then they park them. Well, and in I, fact, I saw a, a, a picture this week online. don't remember where it was. But somebody had actually taken a video and gone down the street somewhere in Detroit. I think I sent it all to the you. Yeah. Yeah. It was a closed GM plant right. yeah. that had been closed for years, and they were using it as a storage lot mm -hmm. for all of the Chevrolets that were made there in the Detroit area yep. because they don't have all the chips in them. And they can't ship them. And when they do ship them, what are they going to do? They're going to have to find somebody to put the chips in them. Is it going to be the dealership? Because, you know, when that happens, it starts this whole chain uh, reaction, reaction. Oh, yeah. of who's going to be responsible now. Is it going to be General Motors? It's going to be responsible for the chip in that particular GM car? Or is it going to be the installer that installed well, the and, chip? And who's responsible for the vehicle as it sits in storage from weather damage or theft damage or something else? You know, General Motors just announced they're going to reopen the Wentzville assembly plant um, and uh, building Chevy Colorados and Canyons and the Chevy Express and Savannah full-size vans. And they've been down for three weeks since September 6th. So I would that kind of makes me think you're – building the wrong vehicles because the demand is for full-size trucks yep it's not for mid-size trucks and it's not for full-size vans my guess is is that they've probably depleted the mid-size inventory to the point where they're going they okay we're going to shift those chips that we need to build those trucks from cars or whatever else that they're, they're building over here to to replenish the inventory well the other thing they're doing is they're minimizing or restricting options because, you know, uh, automatic air conditioning requires a chip. So yep. you can't buy a GM truck full size or not with automatic air right now unless it's a Cadillac uh, because they can take that chip and use it somewhere else. Yep. Um, it's, yeah, and it's, somewhere it's down the road you'll get a notification if you own that car. Okay, we're ready to uh, give you what you paid for. Oh no, they're just gonna they're just giving credit for the no automatic air. That's not something that's gonna be easy to refit. Really? Oh no, no, that wouldn't be easy to refit at all. Seriously? Mm -hmm. You know, and so I was under the, the impression that that that, that, that some of the chips that they were leaving out of cars would be replaced at a, at a well, future we, date. We, we say chips. What's going to happen is the manufacturers are going to build all these vehicles with all the harnesses, and the fix is going to be to plug in a new module. There's a chip inside the module, but they don't physically put a chip in it. It comes with a module, and you plug and play the because module. Because the modules are sealed, as far correct, as I know. So, so you couldn't so get they'll in be there able anyway. to. They'll be able to gotcha. upfit upfit certain ones with modules but if it's <laughs> you know <laughs> it's going to be overly complicated so when you when you saw that ford wanted the dealers to take the trucks in inventory and then ford would send them the modules or the, send them the chips that would be a plug and play module that the the dealer would plug in once they got it and then uh, and then be able to sell it. The problem is the dealers don't want the responsibility of those vehicles being on their for, inventory, right? Being on their on their floor plan floor or plan, their yep. inventory for insurance purposes and damage and and taxes and all yep, of the right, other absolutely. stuff that goes along with. So it. they want Ford to hold on to them, just like GM's holding on to them, just like Chrysler's holding on or uh, Stellantis is holding on to them. 
So who do we have yeah. joining us? So coming up uh, right down this aisle down here is this bright red 1947 Ford convertible. Oh, I saw that. You with saw the that. Tan yeah, top. yeah, yeah. Well, that belongs to Art Pettit, and he's agreed to uh, give us an update on what it, that thing's got a lot of stuff on it. Uh oh. <laughs> Art, tell, tell stuff. First, uh, are you a local guy? Yes, I'm. I'm from Houston. Are you? Yeah. You grew up in Houston? Yeah. Where'd you go to high school? Sam Rayburn and Sam Pasadena. Rayburn High School. <laughs> All right. Pasadena. Yeah. Pasad get down, Dina, sir. <laughs> Don't you I'm sure you've heard that a few times. Oh, yeah. Mascot. Yeah, Probably absolutely. said it a few times. <laughs> yeah. But uh at any rate, uh so tell us about the car. Well, I bought it from a lady that blew the motor up in it and I had to put a new motor in it. It's Darn. got a three fifty five in it. And uh, I had to put new brakes on it. It sat up for about a year and a half. And uh, I had to put new brakes on it and just little stuff that, you know, wasn't working. Speedometer wasn't working, you know, uh, had had to put some fuses and stuff in it. Uh, but the bar- brakes was the main, the big thing, and then, well, the motor, too. Well, wh- uh, well, let's start with the motor. So, obviously, she had a small block Chevy in it? Yeah, yeah. Cool lady. I wanted to go. <laughs> How fast was she going when she lit it up? <laughs> she blew it up. She wow. went to church in it. And she, uh, made yeah, she blew yeah, it up. Right. Little, little old lady from Pasadena <laughs> just drove the car to church. Yeah, but it, but it, 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 it only blew up on the way home. Yeah. On the way home. Home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what was wrong with the brakes? Uh, I didn't have any. It, None. It just it didn't have any. I mean, it's maybe why she blew it up. All the lines. I thought I thought I was going to have to open the door and drag my foot because Yikes. I mean I didn't have any brakes at all, and I went through the whole system, uh, put master cylinder stuff on, brand new stuff. And you did all this yourself? No, kind of had some help. Yeah. What? Some <laughs> shop down the yeah. street? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You know I Midas. I, there is a theme going on here today. All these guys that own these really fancy, nice cars, and they're going, yeah, I, 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 I got, got a guy. This, I, huh? and I, yeah, everybody's <laughs> got a guy. got a guy. You have to depend on the subject matter expert. But if you they know, know how to do it better well, than you do, sometimes it's worth yeah, spending well, money with them. Well, yeah, so, yeah. I was talking to, Otherwise, you'd still have no brakes. <laughs> I was talking to Jeff Zeke, and I, I told him, I said, you know, there are some things that I'll do on my car, but other things I won't. One when I was in my 20s, I would crawl underneath that car at the drop of a hat. Oh, heck yeah. Jack it up, put oh, it yeah. on jack stands. Not anymore. Take off the exhaust <laughs> Well, he could crawl system. under it just wouldn't be able to get back up. <laughs> That's true, too. I, get, I can't get under <laughs> them. I'm a, I'm a wide body. <laughs> I, I, so I don't do that anymore. That's for somebody yeah, but, else. Yeah, let's but for somebody were, else. He was a Corvette guy, so he was crawling under so he could wax the color that nobody else would see. I yeah. did that, too. <laughs> I'm surprised at all. Yes, I did all <laughs> of that. Typical so Corvette see. owner. Let's, we still have let's the clean something nobody looks at. We, ha- we still have the equipment to get under there. It's just... We don't use it. We don't use it anymore. Yeah, we don't use it. Right. And it won't so sell So you put another 355 sale. in it? I put a 355 in it. Just yeah. a, a cr- somebody's crate motor? Yeah, I, I got it from Speedway. Okay, okay. And it's got a year warranty on it. So so nothing fancy. No, nothing, nothing special. fancy. It's just it's a good cruiser. It's a, it, it's a heavy car. And um, I've gone to Gonzales, Louisiana in it. I've been to – we just got back from Albuquerque, New Mexico. In really? It. Yeah. That's sweet. So, so I drive it. I, I drive it all the time. Uh, so. Four, four speed nice automatic. Too. It's an automatic. Okay. Seven hundred. And gear ratio in the back. Uh, I think it's three something. I'm not real sure what it is. So it's not. It's not that hard to cruise in. No, no. I get good gas mileage. So. It's got. It's got like a you know. A 305 gear ratio in the back oh, end of it. Not a, it probably does. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what what I because I hadn't taken it apart. So I mean, that's one problem I haven't had is a rear end. Well, so. knock on wood that yeah. you don't have it today. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Exactly. So, uh, do you do you do cruise ins? Do you do that? Oh yes. Yeah. I've, I've I've been out here once before, and uh, I go all over Houston you know, and show it. You know, Have you been I to any of the uh, tailpipes and tacos? At yes. Lupe Tortilla? Yes. In oh. fact, it, uh, well, we missed you out there because we're out there every time. Yeah, I know. I, y'all yeah. were out there. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we we missed the one. Well, actually, we didn't miss it. We moved to the tailpipes and tacos cruise in at the Kirby location this month okay and then uh next month we'll be back out in katie okay yeah. Yeah. it was katie where i was yeah right just one time so we'll yeah. see you there yeah yeah no doubt 
Uh, is this your only uh, hot rod? Yes. Yes. So, what is your regular? Well, I've got a Cam- I've got a twelve Camaro. I mean, that's not really a hot rod, but it's faster than that. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, do you drive that every day? No, my wife does. Your wife drives yeah, my that. Drive, yeah. yeah. So, and what is this your daily driver? No, I've no. got an av- avalanche. An avalanche. Uh, yeah, two, 20, uh, 2010 avalanche. Avalanche, fun yeah. truck. Yeah. You know. Uh, it's a shame that, that that truck didn't survive, but I, I think that it was. I like it. Oh, I like it. Uh, you know, know, I remember when it was new and we'd have it in the press fleet. And the one thing that was so noticeable at the time, especially, was the fact that independent rear suspension and how what a difference it makes in a pickup truck. Because, you know, the thing is it's a half-ton pickup truck. Right. And, it, and with a straight axle and, and leaf springs in it, like it was at the time, uh, huge difference unless you had a big load in the yeah. back. Yeah. Well, but that the, avalanche solved all that problem. When I worked for GM, the big fear was water leaks with that whole rear opening Facade. pass-through yeah. Yeah. system, and it was never an issue. It was, well, was no, really it never an issue in the avalanche. But I'll all. tell you what, to take that back panel out, do you remember the commercial where they put it, I don't know, what some of the car in the back of it? Because they took out and they had a car sitting in the back of it, and showing how universal it was. And I uh, liked avalanches. I thought they were yeah. a great. Truck. I thought they rode yeah. very smooth. Oh, well, yeah. smooth right you, you know, you take the clothes off an avalanche. It's actually a suburban. It was not a pickup truck. Right. It was a suburban yeah. that they cut the back off and put that that bed and the the flying buttresses in that yep. generally went from black to gray in about six months. <laughs> no, it's yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was yeah a huge, gray now. That was a huge customer complaint <laughs> what, about how that What color is your vehicle? And what it's color it's black. <laughs> with gray? And the gray yeah, with, with a, a gray. Nice. With a matching gray flying buttress. <laughs> but uh, No, Aval- Avalanche is a great truck. I, they shouldn't have put that out of production. But has oh, has yeah. it given you any trouble at all? No. None. 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 Well, how many miles you got on it? 107. How many miles you got on the Ford? Uh, sixty-four thousand. Really? Yeah. So that that definitely sees some miles. Yeah, it has. And what year is it? It's a forty-seven. Forty-seven Ford convertible. Convertible. And now is that a manual top? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did they offer an electric top? No, no. no but I know <laughs> you can put. I know one you on. can upgrade to an electric top yeah. on a customized vehicle. But it's it's not a problem putting it down or or taking it. Pretty simple it up. up and yeah, down. it's pretty simple. Well, I'm just going to say, you know, from my experience, which isn't a lot, that those manual tops they made them in such a way that it was easy to put them up right. and down. Yeah, they just fold down. No, yeah, you know? it was not that big of a deal. Yeah. And um, so many people went, oh. I, you got to have an electric top on it. No, if it's a manual top, chances are pretty good that yeah. it's going to go up and down pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it, can you do it by yourself? Does um, it take two people? It takes two people, yeah. really. Yeah. And how does it latch on to the top of the windshield? The clamps. Got clamps? three clamps on the top. Oh, yeah. there's three. So there's yeah, a there's center three. one. Yeah, so center one. Two sides and a yeah. center. Okay. So it seals, weather seals probably oh, yeah. pretty good. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, probably yeah. better than it. Pontiac Sunfire did, or the hey, Chevy Cavalier. Hey, hey, hey. Those things leak like a sieve. Hey, now. <laughs> or the, I can or the Cadillac Alante. I remember when the Cadillac Stop Alante it. came out. Stop it. The Italians <laughs> built the body for them, and they said, well, if it doesn't get the driver wet, it's not really a water leak. Nice. Literally, I was in the meeting, and they said, no, if it doesn't drip on the driver, it's not the Italians didn't consider it a water leak. You know, this is inside <laughs> information we didn't know. Yeah. Or want to know. Stop dissing Cadillacs. By the way, did you see the Cadillac pickup truck that pulled? I in? saw yeah. that. Just, yeah, just I don't that. know what it is, but it, it, it has a, a Cadillac it looks badge. Like an Escalator front on leaf. A, sorry, we, we're, circle we're leaf. talking to somebody else out there. You, you can Talk see amongst it. yourselves over there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So, you, you, are you planning on winning a trophy here today? No, not really. You just came down to enjoy <laughs> just, us, yeah, and yeah, to sure be on did. the show with. Yeah, us. just enjoy the it's day. A beautiful day. Yeah, it is. And it's a great location. My son, my son's here with me, so. Awesome. Does he get? To, how old is he? He's thir- thirty-two. Okay, so does he get to drive the toy? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll let him drive it. Does he have any of his own? No, he just got a pickup. He wants an older pickup. Is what he wants. Well, don't we all? Yeah. yeah, yeah all, all the price of those it yeah. goes up every day. Matter of fact, I saw some T-shirts around here. The C10 Club. Yep, yep. they're here. Yeah. Yep. yep. So and they had room. a big. They had a big run. Uh, last weekend, I was just going to say, Waxahachie, that's the national C10 yeah. meet, or one of the national so C10 meets. They handled meets. quite a few there. Oh, yeah. I'd say they probably had 
you did know. your son go and scout no. out what was available uh, up there? No, no, you pay top dollar when you go to oh, one of yeah. those. <laughs> it's kind of like going to Lone Star Throwdown. <laughs> You're not going to find a cheap one there. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, any any future plans for the car? It is what no, it is. I, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, there, I would like to, you know, get some chrome on the motor and stuff like that. You know, just dress the motor up a little bit. Well, you can do that. All eventually, it takes I would like to, you know, put another frame under it. And, oh, really? You know, yeah. Why? Because it, got it a would probably Ford. ride better. I mean, I'm I'm not real sure because it rides good now. Is it a 47 Ford frame underneath yeah. it now? Okay. Yeah. Has it had any any beefing up underneath there? It's yeah, uh, it's got a S10 front end on it. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm running disc brakes all the way around. I've got a rear end under it. Um, so it, but it, but as far as the frame is concerned, I guess with with no, it's, you know, back it's then, beefed up a little bit. Is it it's, because you know they didn't do a whole lot? No. Back then, I I remember having uh, that '77 Corvette that I had that had the T tops. Oh my God! You took the T tops out. It's that whole twisty. thing would twist yeah. and, and turn. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. And it was a brand new car. That was a it well was a, for a convertible though. Generally, convertibles even back then they they did do some stiffening, some. but it was generally in the body, not yeah, the frame. Yeah, in the body. They used yeah. to call them shakers. They're like uh, coffee cans they put in the back. Yep. <laughs> That's no, they, they, they called them shakers. Yeah. So I know them as. You're talking about the hula girls that you put in the back window. Oh, no. That's, that's on the front that's dashboard. Kathy. That's on the dashboard. <laughs> I need yeah. to get one they, of those. They go up front. Yeah, I put it and on what the dashboard. You, what did the you put in the back the dashboard. He had one of those uh, uh, Buddhas. <laughs> yeah, Buddha in the back. Rub its belly and pat its head. God. Gold yes. one. Notice I could do that, though, right? Now switch Rub my hands. belly I, and pat my head. If you can switch hands, you can play the drums. There you go. Yeah, saying I am playing the drums. I'm sure Don's about to blow like a gas. I'm like <laughs> putting noise into the sound system here. They're always farting around with the yeah. microphones and, and bumping them and popping the peas and doing all the things that they're not supposed Changing to do. Them See, out. Don's the professional. He's in the Broadcasting Pro- Hall of Fame. Professional. You know what? why he's in the Broadcasting Hall of Fame? Because no. he's old. old. <laughs> Get a shot Pretty of that. much, that's it. They don't they don't induct young men into the Hall of Fame, oh, do they? Boy. No, they don't. Uh, so there's that. Well, it's great to talk to you. Yeah, it's good talking to you guys. Yeah, and do you, you ever can listen tell to? We our, just have a lot of fun. Tell us the yeah. truth. Do you ever listen to this show? No, where? I mean, when it? When is it? That's what I thought. Um, uh, it's on Saturday mornings. What time? Eight to eleven. Okay. <laughs> and uh, right now, it's on uh, the internet. Okay. Facebook, In Wheel Time. Uh, InWheelTime.com. We're also on YouTube. What, we're on Twitter. What radio station is it? Well, no, we're, we're not we're on a damn radio list. station because, because the radio station that we were on has absolutely no ratings whatsoever. So why waste our money yeah. by putting the sh- this fine, award-winning car show on a radio station that has no ratings? We brought ratings to the radio station. <laughs> We, we did. Won, uh, we won an award to do this, and we got off. We did. We got off of the radio, and they went back to no ratings again. Yeah, they did. So there's that. Okay. Well, on top of when uh, when COVID hit, they they locked their doors, basically. So okay. we there's were, still people in so there. So it's, on, it's on the internet. We right. said adios, okay. amigos. Yeah, uh, yeah. Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube. You can stream all of this live on your phone. Okay. You got a phone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can do go. that. And then let me ask you this. Do you have one of those deals like I've got that you plug into the cigarette lighter? Yes. You, the, the Bluetooth thing yeah. in the cigarette lighter? <laughs> See, that works great for me. Okay. I thought yeah. you had one of those things when you fell down and called the yeah. emergency <laughs> number. <laughs> That's at the house. I've fallen and I can't get, get up. up. Yeah, That's you, at the you house. You can get a cellular one that you can take with you, though. You, you, you can? Yeah. Uh, Look at that. that. Foul. I like that. Yeah, so so uh, forget the phone. We just have the button. Exactly. Okay. And so it's basically a one-button phone is what it is. Yeah. Well, that kind of goes with the age. And it's red. It does. And this poor guy's going, let As me long as I can remember that I've got the button around my neck, and that's red. the other well, problem. The, the way they take care of that, it senses when you fall. Oh, it or does. Oh, I thought you had to fall on the button. No. no that's no. the easy button that you have around your neck. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. 
Uh, that was easy. That was easy. Sir, thanks so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you very much. And, and, and love pleasure. your car. It really caught our attention when you drove Thank in. You. Thank really, you. Really, really pretty yep. car. We appreciate it and hope to see you again. And, and hey, give us a shout every once in a while, you know. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll see you at uh, Lupe Tortilla. Yeah, Lupe Tortilla. All right. Um, I, don't have any, <laughs> I don't have anything else. But, no, I do have something else. It's one of your features. Would you mind doing Features one of Features and headlines. I'm talking to you. You want Which one do you want me to do? Well, I don't know. Just pick one. I've got, I've got quite a few here. All right. Well, we'll pick one. Where which one haven't you done? It. Well, let's do race calendar. Let's do the racing calendar. So, let's do uh, racing. You know, today is uh, NHRA Midwest Nationals, which is kind of Chicago. Uh, Erica, as of last night, was qualified fourth. Um, you know, so, you know, there's people that we follow. Um, and then uh, – Next weekend. Well, you gotta you gotta follow the hometown girl. Yeah, she's Absolutely. a friend of the show Four too. Four-time world champion. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, next weekend is the Texas NHRA Fall Nationals up in Ennis, and we know there'll be the whole flood of Emmons brothers will be going up there. You know, that's not a problem. I, you know, I uh, had a chance to uh, speak oh, with she, the Emmons brothers. She so. was fourth last night, so she might have might have qualified better. Okay. But we're anyhow, getting, we're getting updates right now. We're, we're getting yes, updates from so, the fans. Uh, uh, so the Emmons brothers, <laughs> I imagine uh, Dale's going to go up. I, I know, would imagine I know, so. Uh, I haven't talked Stan. to them. I saw them all last weekend, and uh, it was good to see them, but we didn't talk about drag racing. And then on the 17th, it would be Bristol. On the 31st, to be Las Vegas. And then the finals will be the 14th of uh, uh, November in Pomona. NASCAR is um, uh, tomorrow night in Las Vegas. Uh, on the 3rd of uh, d October is Talladega, and then on the 10th of October is Charlotte, and then on the 17th is Texas. Um, then remember that uh, Formula One is coming to uh, Coda. Coda in uh, on the 24th. So if you look at lots of world world level. Uh, world class, yeah. World class uh, racing's happening in Texas over the month of October with NHRA, NASCAR, and Formula See, One. See, you, you were telling us earlier about you know storing your car for the winter, and I said nay, 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 <laughs> nay, uh, nay, nay. We, nay, nay. We, we're not storing our car for the winter just yet. Just yet. We have to wait until Autorama at Thanksgiving at weekend. Thanksgiving and then weekend. after that, then you can store your uh, car. And that's why we'll build into that story as we talk about different systems on the car and okay. how to prepare them for right. storage you and can you twist my you can twist my arm and convince me of that make, if you, make like. you believe i was prepared for this <laughs> formula <laughs> yes. one is when oh, oh uh, nay nay on formula well, no ray ray on formula one uh, formula one is the 24th of october eh. uh this weekend they're in russia yeah eh. i don't know how that works so driving around Sochi. Yet. And supposedly they're going to Turkey. Nostrovia. I can't imagine they're going to do Turkey. Nostrovia, Koki. And then uh, November they're in Mexico. <laughs> vodka. vodka. Vodka, right. But it's a vodka. Well, vodka translated we, in, in we, Russian is actually water. Do we have uh, vodka over here yet? No, the bottle's no. not open. Well, what? Bars, uh, you need to come talk on. to somebody. We need hey, some. Woody, how come the bar's yeah, not we open? We need these bars open. We need we some breakfast bars. Bloody Mary's, we Mary's want out here. Bars. We we, we've got a we've got a built-in audience. Everybody's gonna. They're yeah. all See, begging. Tell, tell me the bar wouldn't be busy. If they're all these, begging. The line for, walked right past the front the, of everyone's it. Everyone's coming through here. No one's bringing us drinks. Well, I mean, we need to have drinks for them to buy us drinks. Well. But uh, you know. Uh, well, this is Saturday. You can buy early on yeah. Saturday. You just can't buy early Vodka. on Sunday. Vodka. 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 Okay. Continue so that's on. The race, I'm sorry. That's the racing calendar. Oh, that's the racing calendar. Okay. So do you want me to do some news Formula now? One. I can yeah. do news. Oh, look at that. He's 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 It's a jet ski. He's hauling donkey. He's out hauling there. donkey. You know, General Motors <laughs> unveiled three new motors uh, to power their various electric vehicles. By the way, speaking of which, they stopped or are going to stop making. Thank you very much. Well, what, well thank you. We they, don't have anything to open though. I know. Hey, they're going to stop making some uh, motor. Uh, GM is uh, some hot rod motor, an LS motor. Yeah, they stop making the LS. Yeah, uh, crate is motors. It, is it the Z06 motor? Or, uh, I don't. Is, is, did you hear not hear that? Or, yeah, uh -huh. That was a story Z, that they're going to stop making this. this Might be the LFA, which is the supercharged, the CA. lower, yes. lower powered one. Well, I don't the know. LS9. They're going to stop making it, and everybody's up in arms over it. No, don't do that. But apparently something else is going to replace it. Yeah, all these electric motors that they're building for their Ultium-powered vehicle, Ultium-drive 
uh, underpinnings. So, yeah, so they came out with 180 kilowatt front drive motor. I can't, re how do you relate to that? 180 kilowatts, oh, well, that 180 kilowatts will get me up to, you know, 150 miles in the quarter mile. Now we're talking, but I don't know what that means. 255 kilowatt rear wheel or front wheel drive motor and the 62 kilowatt front wheel drive motor. How many motor. horsepower is yeah, that? Who's got the formula for that? You know, that's the number on the back of the Cadillac, you know, that's kilowatts. No, oh, it's not. No. That, that, that's uh, that's uh, the uh, uh, Newton meter. Newton meter. New fig Newton. That's the fig that, Newton meter. That's for torque. That is, that is torque. Torque and Newton meters. And then you heard uh, Carlos Goshen was back in the news, oh, right? He got out of the suitcase, and he's causing stirring. Well, the well he's finally – can you believe he still owned Nissan stock? He finally sold all of his Nissan stock, and now he's getting ready to sell all of his Renault stock because he's saying that the Nissan-Renault merger is, is a disaster. That's a Renault. Well, he, yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay, Renault. Renault. Leon. <laughs> It's not Leon. 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 Well, he didn't. He he's the one who organized the Nissan Renault merger. The, the, remember these folks? Well, he's once. We, we remember yes. you. The yeah, the yep. ambulance. All right. Good so, to see you. Um, all right. Thank you very much. Here are some of the stories making headlines this week. Toyota's once-in-a-generation, top-to-bottom redesign of its full-size 2022 Tundra pickup aims to thrust the long-time laggard. Back into the competition with the Detroit 3 and give the brand its best hope in years to pick up some share in the highly profitable segment. I don't know who wrote that. But Twin Turbo V6. Uh, nice. Set to go on sale in U.S. dealerships late this year, the new Tundra will bear little functional resemblance to the current model, thank God, which went on sale in 2007 and trails in domestic competitors in fuel economy, technology, and sales volume. Yes, Twin Turbo V6, 389 horsepower. Nice. 479 pound-feet of torque, 10-speed automatic transmission. Built in San Antonio, Texas. Yep, um, and fuel economy has yet to be announced. But as far as sales are concerned, here's the latest in sales. Uh, Ford F-Series, uh, 362,000 in the first six months of this year. Almost a million of them going to go out the door. Ram right behind them increased sales uh, in the first six months of this year to 313,000. Chevy Silverado, two hundred eighty-six thousand. No, they're way behind. GMC Ram. Sierra, one hundred and thirty-eight thousand, huh. and the Toyota Tundra, forty-three thousand eight hundred and sixty-five. Yeah, but they're they're in better shape than the Nissan Titan at seventeen thousand. Yeah, well, there's that. But what, mark my word, Nissan's uh, right around the corner with something new. And uh, dealers see the hiring of the former Ford executive. As a sign, Stellantis will give the brand the care and investment it needs. And that is the Chrysler brand. Great. Uh, Christine Fuel, a former global marketing strategist at Ford Motor Company, took over as CEO of Chrysler last week. She has the task of reviving a brand that's been relegated to the declining minivan and large car segments for years as consumers gravitated to crossovers instead. Part of the agenda? Expected to include an electrified crossover that would share a platform with, get this, the Dodge Charger and Challenger and be built alongside them, according to Auto Forecast Solutions. And those are the headlines uh, mm -hmm. topping our news this week. You heard that the CEO of Toyota has warned against uh, full inclusion of electric vehicles because it will lose millions of jobs worldwide. Oh, boy. There's that. All right, time now for a quick break. We're back here on the In Wheel Time Car Show right after this. Houstonian-owned Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has the most sought-after models in the Houston area today. When you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, you now have a place to go. General Manager Lincoln Stahl guarantees Bayway will beat any competitor's written price on the new vehicle you choose or pay you $1,000. Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is easy to get to on Highway 225 near Beltway 8 in Pasadena. Whether it's online or in person, you're welcome like one of the family. Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dot com. Tailpipes and Tacos, Houston's premier monthly car cruise-in, returns Saturday morning, October 16th to the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy. Tailpipes and Tacos is free and you're invited. Collector cars, hot rods, customs, magnificent originals, and resto mods will all be on display. Loopy founder, car collector, and drag racer Stan Holt brings you the coolest Saturday morning cruise in, Tailpipes and Tacos. 
Car show season's just around the corner and time to stretch your car's legs in a fun family event. There'll be plenty of fabulous, fresh, made-to-order loopy tortilla tacos, hot coffee, and adult beverages, too. This is Houston's coolest cruise-in. Tailpipes and tacos at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard, just south of I-10. And on the Southwest Freeway in Kirby, inside the Loop. Get your ride ready, and we'll see you at the Tailpipes and Tacos Saturday morning cruise-in, October 16th, 8 to 11 a.m. The In Wheel Time Car Show will be there, too. We'll see you then, weather permitting. Gulf Coast Auto Shield has moved to a more convenient location. Now you can visit John Gray and his staff of dedicated professionals at their new shop on the South Sam Houston Parkway between Belford and Airport in Southwest Houston. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is the best at paint correction and ceramic coatings. Clear bras and custom wraps are specialties that only Gulf Coast Auto Shield installs with award-winning accuracy. And all their services come with a warranty. Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Porsche, and Ferrari owners depend on Gulf Coast Auto Shield for their specialty services, and you should too. The In Wheel Time Corvette and Cutlass have both been massaged by Gulf Coast Auto Shield, so isn't it time your vehicle visit their new shop in southwest Houston? Call John Gray today at 832-930-5655 or visit online at gcautoshield.com. That's gcautoshield.com. Paint, coatings, wraps, and more at gcautoshield.com. 